Hello everyone. I am Dr. Burke Caritas. In the previous video, we defined erectile dysfunction. We talked about its importance. In this video, we will briefly talk about the causes of erectile dysfunction. We have two main root causes. Organic cause and psychological causes. These can be separate or intertwined. The basic philosophy in this case is this. Erection means strength and power for men. A man who loses his erection loses his strength and power. Therefore, even if the problem is only organic, there is definitely a psychological underbase underneath it. For this reason, when evaluating the disease, we should not forget the psychological infrastructure, even if it is an organic reason. Yes, there are many psychological reasons. Excessive fatigue, stress, partner incompatibility, etc. can be counted at work. What I want to talk about here is performance anxiety. The task of urologists is to detect performance anxiety and refer the patient to a sex therapist. In fact, we can more or less understand whether there is performance anxiety during the examination. I hope you can understand after this video. For example, the first criterion is the following. Erection is complete during masturbation, but there is no erection during intercourse. The second criterion is that it is very good to get an erection with the same partner at different times, for example, on Monday, but there may be erectile dysfunction on Thursday and this is a recurrent situation. The third criterion is erectile dysfunction with different partners. Complete erection with one partner but no erection with the other. If one of these criteria is present, it means that there is a performance anxiety. Then we don't need to do any organic treatments. Yes, the most common problem we see in organic treatments is vascular problems. Now there is a blood flow to the penis and this blood flow should be in balance. In other words, there must be a balance between the incoming blood flow and the outgoing blood flow. If the incoming blood flow is low or the outgoing blood flow is high, then an erectile dysfunction may occur. Again, if there is a problem in the nerves of the penis, if there is a problem in the main nerve or the nerve transmission in it, then we can see erectile dysfunction. A lot can be said about hormonal causes, but by the way, I would like to say a few sentences about the connection between testosterone and erection. Studies have shown that there is no direct and direct relationship between erectile dysfunction and testosterone level. What does that mean? There is no rule that if a person's testosterone level is too high, it will be too much to get hard. Or if it is too low, there is no rule that its hardening will be low. Of course, there is a connection, and we do replacement therapy, especially if the patient's testosterone is low. However, when we give testosterone in a patient with normal testosterone levels, there will not be much increase in erection. Another condition is penile diseases, especially Peroni disease, which we call calcification that occurs in the membrane of the penis. In Peronese diseases, there will be an erectile dysfunction because the penis cannot develop transversely, of course. Again, erectile dysfunction can be seen after penile fractures. Another situation is that drugs, especially some groups of drugs used by blood pressure patients or cardiovascular patients, can cause serious erectile dysfunction. Again, antipsychiatric drugs can cause erectile dysfunction. I'm not going to get into a psychological debate about whether masturbation is here. I think it's an organic condition, a behavioral disorder. If you masturbate too much and inappropriately, you will be acting against your sexual cycle and therefore it can cause an organic and physical erectile dysfunction. Yes, let's talk about some diseases. For example, how diabetes causes erectile dysfunction. In the first part, I said in my first speech that 50% of patients with erectile dysfunction have diabetes. Yes, why is this so? Because diabetes causes erectile dysfunction with four mechanisms. It causes disorders in both vessels, nerves and hormones. When we add performance anxiety on top of it, there is erectile dysfunction. Again, it causes problems in the vessels in heart patients and blood pressure patients and creates performance axis. In addition, since some blood pressure medications also cause erectile dysfunction, such a picture may occur. 
Apart from this, erectile dysfunction occurs because there is a disorder in the nervous limbs, especially after surgeries in the lumbar region, traumas in the waist, especially after some prostate cancer surgeries. Yes, these are the general causes of erectile dysfunction. If we talk, we'll talk until morning, but that's the gist of it. In our next video, we will continue about the treatment steps in erectile dysfunction. Thank you.